In the 1960s, the United States began to develop a new generation of light tanks, with the requirement that the tanks maintain combat effectiveness while also being transportable by large transport planes. This created significant limitations on the size and weight of the tanks, resulting in the futuristic M551 Sheridan. However, there was another even more fantastical tank at the time, known as the Lockheed-Fairchild Hinged Tank. Designed by Robert Fairchild and John Fairchild in response to a competition held by the American Armored Association in 1962, this tank was the result of collective efforts to find breakthroughs in tank design. The Fairchild brothers, both engineers with extensive experience in vehicle systems development, laid the foundation for the tank's design. In order to meet the military's demanding requirements with existing technology, some bold and innovative technologies were used. To streamline the tank's size, the internal structure had to be simplified without sacrificing combat effectiveness. This led to the use of a hinged structure, which allowed the tank to be split in two, separating functional areas. This meant that even if a transport plane couldn't carry a complete tank at once, it could at least be transported in separate sections, making it more transportable than other tanks at the time. The tank's power system was unique, using electric drive technology, with an engine installed in each of the two tank sections. The front section's engine was located in the front right of the vehicle, while the rear section's engine was in the front of the vehicle. Both engines powered a generator, which then drove the tank's tracks. The power from the two sections could be transferred to each other through cables, allowing one section to assist the other in case of a power issue. In water, the tank could even disconnect at the hinge, sealing the front section crossing the river with power supplied through the cable, then reversing the process to power the rear section once the front section was on land. In terms of armor, the tank used a combination of steel and aluminum armor, with thickness ranging from 76 to 150 mm. The armor was designed with a sandwich structure, using layers of armor and filling materials such as epoxy resin to increase thickness while reducing weight. The specific protective capabilities are unclear, as there were no physical prototypes available for testing. For weapons, both the front and rear sections of the tank were equipped. The front section's main turret was fitted with two levels of weapons, with the primary weapon expected to be a 76-150mm gun, likely similar to the one on the M551 light tank, capable of firing missiles. The secondary weapon inside the main turret was a 20mm machine gun, suitable for anti-personnel and light armor purposes. The rear section had a small turret with a 7.62mm machine gun for limited self-defense. Originally planned for four crew members in the front section, this was later reduced to three, likely due to size and weight constraints. The rear section was also originally planned for four crew members, who could dismount and act as infantry in combat, working in coordination with the tank. This concept evolved in later designs to accommodate carrying 15 to 40 personnel. According to the designer's estimates, the hinged tank weighed approximately 19 to 19.96 tons, increasing to about 21.77 to 29.03 tons with upgraded armor. Its mobility capabilities are unclear, with an operational range of 200 to 300 miles. The main gun was to be equipped with 24 rounds, the 20mm machine gun with 200 rounds, and the rear section's machine gun with several rounds. The Lockheed-Fairchild tank was undoubtedly an innovative design at the time, incorporating hinged structure, electric drive, missile firing capabilities, and a range of new technologies and concepts. However, with so many new features, the tank lacked practical value, as simpler and more reliable equipment was preferred. The abundance of features became a burden rather than an advantage.